everyone, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. And I think it is time for me to do an updated handbag collection video because my collection has changed so much. This is my very first LV bag, Alma PM in the Epi leather in Cassis color. It's become sort of my event bag. Usually I'm out and about the whole day. So for me to be able to carry a really classy ladylike bag like this, and be able to carry like all my essentials plus more is really really great so uh, I've contemplated selling this beauty a lot of times and just never could get myself to do it so I'm I probably would never do it and uh, this is the old version as you can see there is no crochette and I don't ever wear the locks so that's why it's not there and this one doesn't have feet but essentially it's I mean, it's the same shape. I guess I'm just going by the order of my oldest to my newest bag. So this is my second oldest bag. Uh, so as you've noticed, anything in between uh, that was part of my first collection video is no longer here. And uh, so yeah, this is my push admittis. A lot of people ask me still a lot of questions about mine. I do have several videos about it and also a couple videos about my repair process with it. So I will definitely um, link all the videos that are related to all these bags down below for you guys to check it out. Uh, mine is over three years old now and I still love it. I just, like I said, I've been having quite a few issues with the glazing, but this time around, hopefully it will um, stay put. And also, if anything happens, I will keep using it because it's not like this bag will be going anywhere. Um, as far as I've been told, uh, especially my last meeting with uh, the essay, I was told that even if the glazing is completely rubbed off, it would still probably probably take quite a while more uh, sort of abrasion for the canvas to crack because ultimately that's probably my worst fear is for any of the canvas to crack and you know for having a bag that is no longer repairable. And so I was told that even if the glazing wears off, it will still take quite a while later to um, to even possibly see cracks on the canvas. For those who are new to my channel, I do have the oldest or the original version of the Pochette Mitsis. So you will notice that it's slightly boxier, a little bit stiffer maybe, and um, just retains its shape a little bit better because as I'm doing this, it's it's actually not bulging out or anything. So I do like this feature about my bag. The next bag that I have is my Speedy B25, the Speedy Bandoulière 25. I have the original one with a pocket that has no zipper. I've also contemplated setting this bag so many times as well for two reasons. Uh, the first reason that bothers me probably the most is the zipper opening is so small. I warn you guys, if you mind small zipper opening, especially for a bag such as the Speedy, which is kind of like a black hole, avoid buying it, I just tell you. But otherwise, if you think that you can put up with it, then it's fine. Uh, also, the other thing is the strap. When the bag is heavy and this is on my shoulder, I find it painful. I've used it today because I do make it a point to try to use it. And when I use it, I still love it because I love the look of it obviously and I love the fact that mine is weatherproof but it still bugs me every time every time I'm trying to find something or every time my shoulder starts getting a little tired then those are the times where I'm like oh but what can I say it's a speedy I can't say no to a speedy so I don't know it's still in my collection so that's good my next LV bag is the Neverfull. I love mine because it has a really beautiful patina. It's great when I need to bring a water bottle. It's great when I need to go shopping and just dump all the stuff that I buy. Mine is the new uh, version so I have the straight line, no cursive writing inside which I kind of like because I find it more modern. Uh, and I also like the pocket has uh, textile lining versus the plasticky lining. Personal preference, I mean everyone's different. Uh, mine's also made in USA with a leather USA made in USA tab. And also since mine is the uh, new model, I also have the pouch that comes with it, Alma BB. Uh, the Alma is just an all-around really good design. 
Uh, the only drawback I would have to say for any Alma bags is that the dome shape sometimes because it tapers up then it kind of makes things a little bit harder to um, sort of fit and organize inside and that's probably more true with the BB size just because it's already a smaller bag but this Alma BB has come in so handy for me especially because I don't have a proper clutch and I find that this has basically been taking the role of my evening bag which is perfectly fine, I love that it's handheld and also I do use a shoulder strap quite often so this is my second to last LV bag that I have in my collection this is the twice in the Alpine leather and the color noir which stands for black I utilize all the compartments it is a small bag but it's just such a functional bag for me. It just works super well. With the microfiber lining, I'm not worried about scratching anything. The last LV bag that I purchased this year, this is the Mini Palm Spring Backpack. It is adorable, it is so squishy, and quite comfortable to wear. I guess because it is small enough, I don't actually really fill it up, so it doesn't get too heavy. Um, so far, I really like it. I do hear a few wear and tear stories from my subbies and friends. So I do watch out for that, but otherwise, I think this is such a cute and a very whimsical bag. We're down to my last two luxury handbags, and let me introduce you to my only Celine bag, the Celine Trapeze in the size small in the black uh, drum leather. I really love this bag. I think it's such a statement piece. I think it looks really good. Uh, I think it's kind of understated because you know, there's no labels all around. The shape is really interesting. Uh, the strap is very comfortable. I love the one handle design. I never knew that one handle bags are so comfortable. For the thing that I really love the most is the huge opening. Mine is still in really new condition. I did acquire it this year. And I've seen a lot of old ones you know secondhand ones pre-loved ones that have worn out quite a bit the leather might have even like slouched and bent inwards um, and the inside of the lining like the lambskin lining might even like wrinkle and crease so those are things that i'm i'm kind of aware i know that they exist and i know that it's probably an eventuality. Last handbag of the year, or up until today anyway, uh, that I have in my collection is my Chanel Jumbo single flap. You can see that it's quite flexible. The leather has definitely softened up, but not to the point where it doesn't still retain its shape. Like it still has a good square, you know, a nice firm, but squishy, if that makes sense. Like it's a little squishy, it's a little squishy, but it's so firm enough that it still keeps its shape. This bag has also exceeded my expectation. Um, I suppose the size, you know, given the size, it's still so lightweight because of the single flap and the lack of all these other layers of leather and compartments, which I'm completely fine with. And um, the, the chain is more comfortable than I ever thought. Again, the weight does have something to do with it. The lightweightness does help it quite a bit. My collection this year has also evolved to more LCLGs and accessories, small leather goods and accessories. So I will definitely be uh, making that video next. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Amy and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.